David Barton is the world's worst historian. In fact, that's too kind because he's not even a historian. He pretends to be a historian, and he's just a fundamentalist Christian. So recently, he spoke about the issue of retirement and how evil and unbiblical it is. First off, let's just make it real clear, and we can talk about it later in the week. Retirement is not a biblical concept. No, it is not. That is a pagan concept that comes from the Babylonian system. If you want to live in Egypt, you want to live in Babylon, great, retire. God's people, God is, that is not a model, so we can talk about that. But one of the great indications that something is not part of what God wants is the fruit that accompanies it. And one of the things I've always believed is Deuteronomy 6.24, he says, everything I tell you is for your benefit, that you can enjoy a long life, yes. that you can prosper. And so if we see something in the way of statistics or science that shows that we don't have a long life, that will diminish our life, then we know that's not part of what God wanted us to and do. And there's a reason behind it. And there's a reason behind it. And it, 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 the statistics indicate that whatever that is, is not God's plan for you because what He plans for you is long life, prosperity, etc. So when you see something that diminishes your life, here's the deal. Insurance actuaries, as of just a few months ago, talking to, to a minister you and I really know well, and he had just checked with the insurance actuaries again. Um, I checked on it about 10 years ago, and it was this way. It's still this way now, 10 years later. The average length of time that a person lives after they retire is 2.4 years. Because what they do is, I am so looking forward to quitting and doing nothing. I am so looking forward to finally having... Your body says, oh, you want to do nothing? Great. Let's just shut down. Let's just quit. Let's, let's just quit. Yeah. And so God did not design us for retirement. He did not design us to quit being productive. And when you start doing things that go contrary to what he designed us for, it always gets bad results. And so the statistics are there that God did not design us for retirement. Anti-retirement. That's awesome. That's a fantastic platform, man. You should tell the Republicans to run on that and see how that works. Have them talk about it. I'm sure they'll get a lot of votes saying, I want you to work until you die. I could see crowds now, yeah, work until I die. Yoo-hoo, yes. How ridiculous are you? Now, I also love how a lot of that shit is just made up. So, uh, for example, he says, they only live like two and a half years after you retire. Fact. Science. Study. Something. What's the reality? The average retirement age in America, 66 years old. The average age of death in America, 79 years old. He just made it up. He made it up. He made it up. It's 13 years. He's like, two and a half years. Stop making shit up. You're just a fucking liar. And then, of course, he even gets the basic Bible facts wrong. I love, I love my job because all I have to do is fact check, and that's it. So I just looked up in the Bible, retirement in the Bible, and I get a shitload of passages. How do you like this? Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, uh, plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. Okay, so right there we get a little bit of uh, Bible being pro-welfare. That's nice. Well, what else we have here? And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This applies to the Levites. From 25 years old and upward they shall come to do duty in the service of the tent of meeting. And from the age of 50 years they shall withdraw from the duty of the service and serve no more. So the Bible says you should retire at 50! It's, that's Numbers 8, uh, lines 23 to 26. Look it up. It's not me. It's the Bible. And then finally, we have Luke 1, 23. And when his time of service was ended, he went to his home. There you have it. Your time of service is over. You may go home now and relax. Boom. You don't even know what's in your Bible. The Bible is pro-retirement. But even if it wasn't pro-retirement... Who gives a shit? I don't look to ancient books on how we should live our lives today because that doesn't make any sense.